The spirit of Bel is identified as the ruler of the demons. Belzebub is another name for Bel. In Matthew 12 verse 24, when the Pharisees heard this, they said, It is only by Belzebub, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. Bel was a kind of deity that Israel encountered when they conquered the promised land. This guy was often portrayed as a calf or a bull, suggesting the idol that the Israelis built while Moses was up the mountain receiving the Ten Commandments. Exodus 32 verse 1 to 4 When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come, make us God who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what happened to him. Aaron answered them, Take off the gold earrings that your wives, your sons, and your daughters are wearing, and bring them to me. So all the people took off their earrings and brought them to Aaron. He took what they handed him and made into it an idol, cast into the ship of a calf, fashioning it with the tool. Then they said, This is your God, Israel, who brought you out of Egypt. Bel is known as the Jewish and Christian demon. The name Bel refers to various gods and goddesses. Bel is one of the first and principal of the seven princes of hell. Bel was the god of agriculture and fertility in Canaan, becoming a falling angel and a demon. Bel is said to be one of the first of Solomon's 72 spirits. He is the king of the east and governs an army of 66 legions of demons. Bel is a demon that depends more on his spirit than his strength, therefore preferred to use his telepathy to manipulate others. Immortality. Bell is immortal. He cannot be killed by any means. Super powerful. Bell is very powerful. Worshippers of Bell exhibited several traits that reflect its demonic character. First, death and self destruction were imported to Bell worshipper. In 1 Kings 18, verse 28, Bell worshippers cut themselves with knives and spears. Children were giving a sacrifice to satisfy Bel, as recorded in Jeremiah 19, verse 5. Bel brings self-destruction. Sexual immorality and deviation were essential. In Numbers 25, verse 1 to 5, we find fertility cults based in promiscuous sex. The female Bel, Ashtoreth, was a fertility god based on promiscuity. Bell advocates sensual lifestyle and illicit sexual relationships. Bell is very legalistic and controlling. By definition, any involvement with Bell worship will bring a demonic form of legalistic control. Jezebel, a worshiper of Bell, is a good example of being adamant in her singular commitment to Bell and killing anyone who did not singularly do so. She had recruited hundreds of prophets to support Bell's worship and any prophet of the true God, Jehovah, was to be killed. She operated more strongly in this spirit than did Ahab, her husband, the king of Israel. He only responded to her control. The demonic worship of Baal is based on lies, while worshiping God is based in spirit and truth. Jezebel, in particular, had no tolerance for truth. She was very angry that one man, Elijah, continued to voice truth in the midst of Israel and vowed to kill him because of the truth he voiced. We need to be aware of these demonic attributes. We must seek to bring freedom to those captured and controlled by the spirit of Baal. Let us pray tonight to submit ourselves to God, allowing him to deal with our own hearts first, even if the area is small. When we have ex exercised the authority of Christ giving to us, expelling it from our lives, first, you will then be able to control its operation in others. Witchcraft is a powerful and destructive force that should not be left undealt with in the followers of Christ or tolerated in the house of God. God has given every believer in Christ the authority to overthrow it. So tonight, let us pray to overthrow the spirit of Baal. Father God, I come to your supreme court and ask that the courts be seated and the books be opened. According to Daniel 7 verse 10, I ask for the Holy Spirit and the Lord Jesus Christ to be my holy advocate to represent me in your court. I give them full permission to speak on my behalf. I put on robes of righteousness as an officer in your court and loose the blood of Jesus over myself so that Satan has no access to me. 
I come into the court right now and I thank you that I am accepted here. Thank you for the privilege of being able to bring my petitions to your court. Father God, I come before your Supreme Court because it is the highest court in the land. It is the highest of your courts. As such, any judgment or decision that you make and decree must be honored by all lower courts, including all courts on earth and all officers and employees of these courts. I ask, Lord, that you release your highest ranking notification angels, enforcement angels, and hosts of heaven to all those humans and non-humans who will be affected by your court decisions to duly inform them of and enforce all of your decision and judgment in my case today. Father God, I come as an intercessor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to renounce and repent of all the sins, all transgressions, times and ways that I or my bloodlines back to Adam and Eve and the body of Christ have engaged, collaborate or participate with endorse, worship, advocate, use and open doors to Satan, Lucifer, Bell, Moloch, and any other of the cohorts, minions, accomplices, and representatives, including all spirits, practices, and programs of ritual abuse, satanic rituals, witchcraft, divination, occult, idolatry, seduction, sensuality, prostitution, pornography, sexual perversion, including rape, assault and abuse, voyeurism, domination, brutality, homosexuality, sodomy, confusion, gender confusion, human trafficking, self-harm, child sacrifice, manipulation, domination, controlling, Jezebel, death, murder, and destruction. With the shed blood of Jesus, I renounce and I repent for all and break all soul ties, all contracts, all covenant and agreements and programs with all those spirits and any person or party that I or anyone in my bloodline has created or established with Bell and any of these other spirits, practices and programs. I renounce and repent for all activities, all words, all music, all ritual, all vocation, all avocations, all beliefs having to do with Bell and these other spirits. I repent for all times and ways that I have used the Bell spirit and all his cohorts and minions to control, manipulate, or damage other human beings in any relationship with you, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. Lord God, I forgive all those who contribute to my beliefs and behaviors connected to Bell and these other demon spirits. I renounce and break all agreements, contracts, and covenants made with Bell spirits in the kingdom of darkness. By me and my entire bloodline back to Adam and Eve. I renounce, divorce, and cut all ties with ungodly relationships, all Bell and Bell related spirits, and every seed implanted in me, my belief system and body, now and forevermore. I renounce, I severe, I divorce, and close all doors permanently to ungodly sources. Father God, I repent for surrendering ground to Bell and all its cohorts and minions including my city, my states, and country. Father God, for everything I have repented and renounced here, I plead guilty on behalf of myself and all my bloodlines in my country. I represent the blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, as atonement. I present the voice of the blood of Jesus, which speak, paid in full to clear this transgression from my record and that of my entire lineage, as well as my future bloodline. Father God, I ask for redemption from the curse by the blood of Jesus Christ, and ask that you break all curses of Baal and all other demonic spirit system, program, and agendas over me and my family line now. Let the blood of Jesus break all these curses now. Lord God, I ask that your Holy Spirit fill me to overflowing with purity and cleanse my body, my brain, my mind, my heart, my soul and spirit, my conscious, my subconscious and unconscious mind, my memory bank, and everywhere in me, in my body, where all programs, imprints, beliefs, traumas, and traits having to do with Bell and his accomplices have presided. To erase them now, erase all damage and distortion, cleanse my heart, cleanse my mind and body of all distortions with your healing balm of Gilead. Let all stolen, damaged, scattered parts and fragments of my soul be fully healed with the blood of Jesus and return to me now. Father God, cleanse me now with your holy healing love oil and fire with the blood of Jesus. 
of any sins against me, my body, my life, my bloodline. I receive by faith, cleansing, clearing, and healing from my body, my mind, my will, my emotions, my heart, my belief system, and my relationship with you, Lord God, myself and others. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Lord God, I recognize, I honor, and accept that your holiness in Christ Jesus dwell in me, that I am born of your seed of divinity, created in your image, and that you are healing, transforming, and blessing me, my body, my mind, my heart, my soul, and my life. Thank you for transforming me through your anointing. Because we are in God's courtroom, we are representing our legal case through God's legal document, the Bible scriptures. Therefore, we plead our case by saying, Father God, your word declares the following. 2 King 19 verse 15 clearly state that you are the God, you alone of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. And in Isaiah 45, 12, you said, It is I who made the earth and created men upon it. I stretched out the heaven with my hand, and I ordained all their hosts. Your word in Amos 4 verse 13 clarifies, for behold, he who formed mountains and creates the winds and declares to men what are his thoughts, he who makes dawn into darkness and threads on the high places of the earth, the Lord God of hosts is his name. Father God, Bel and his accomplice have damaged, distorted, and disrespected your creation of earth and humanity. They have manipulated our weather, our climate, our season, even our sexuality. Furthermore, Bell and his accomplices have tried to take over your power, purposes in place as the one true God over all the humanity of your creation on earth. We say no more tonight. Father God, only you can have complete authority over Bell. I stand before you and said, I forbid this mantra city from continuing to wreak havoc in our country and culture. Father God, just as you showed the 450 false prophet of Bell that you are the one true God, I ask you to release an Elijah to strike down the minions of Baal in our community, in our country. Your word in Jeremiah 32 verse 35 says, They built the high places to make their sons and daughters pass through the fire, which I had not commanded them, nor had it entered my mind, that they should be this repulsive thing. Baal and Moloch have perverted childhood, children and sexuality to distort and destroy humanity and your kingdom design and destiny of for your sons and daughters here on earth. They are using child sacrifice to gain power and domination over humanity in America. Father, I reject this in the name of Jesus. Father, as your presence in the Ark of Covenant knocked down Dagon, I ask you to pour out your power and might and knock down bell temples, altars, and operations in my community, my state, and over America. Close this wicked portal with your mighty rushing wind. Your word in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16 through 17 tells us, Do you not know and understand that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroy the temple of God, God will destroy the destroyer, for the temple of God is holy, and that is what you are. Bell works on so many fronts to assault my body, my temple, with messages, with foods, with activities, to deny and deprive me of my body, being in purity and the holiness you designed and destined it to be. Father God, according to your word, I ask you to destroy the destroyer of my body temple. We have authority to destroy strongholds. Your word in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 to 5 promises us the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood. Our weapons are divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. We are destroying sophisticated arguments and every exalted and proud things that set itself up against the knowledge of God. Father God, it is indisputable clear throughout your word, which is your record of law and your covenants to me, that you have created me in your image and for your purposes. It is clear that if this is Bell's spirit and its accomplices are allowed to continue to control, steal, or compromise any part of me, that I will not be able to fulfill your will and destiny for my life. It is clear that if I'm not granted this request from your Supreme Court, I will not be able to fulfill your plans for me. Your word in Galatians proclaimed, God is not mocked. 
you will not allow himself to be ridiculed. Therefore, the judgments that I am requesting from your Supreme Court today are, grant all my petition in the case I have presented to you here. Grant me a divorce decree for and a permanent injunction against Bell and all Bell's cohorts, his minions, entities, operations, agendas, programs, and system from operating in my life and my bloodlines, so that I will no longer be tormented by anything having to do with Bell. To create this unity, this harmony, and strive amongst the body of Christ in preventing or compromising our unity in faith and kingdom work together and dead on arrival. Burn to ashes all the harvest of Bel, Asherah, lay waste all their crops, their fruits and seeds. Grant us a restraining order against Bel and all his cohorts, his minions, entities, his operation, his agendas, programs and system from operating. Close all portals open, created utilized, inhabited, appropriated, and exploited by Bell and all his cohorts and minions. Loose the hold that Satan, Lucifer, Bell, and all their accomplices have on my destiny, my provisions, and my ministry. Release all support and resources for me to fulfill my book of heaven now. Restore to me sevenfold everything Bell and his accomplices have stolen from me, according to your word in Proverbs 6, verse 30. Send your retrieval angels to collect what has been stolen from me, so that my work in life may go unimpaired and I may fulfill my book in heaven completely, as well as the collaborative work in destiny with others you have so destined and appointed for me. Yoke me fully, eternally, and exclusively to you, God, and your destiny and purposes for me, my bloodline. Thank you, God, for granting my petitions tonight. Thank you for your justice, your mercy, and your love. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me from these wicked strongholds once and for all. To you alone be all the glory in heaven and upon the earth forever and ever. Amen.